Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you can't tell by my helmet, um, we are out doing some sledding or skidooing. And the reason we're able to do that is because we actually bought a sled. Um, so I'm super excited because this is really the main way to get around up north here. So um, this is gonna be super helpful for being able to get to different places in the winter to go ice fishing, um, even just to have something to do. This is our sled. It is a 608th Expedition by Skidoo. Um, and we got the second seat, the heated handlebars and visors for the second person, and then also the extra um, tote on it. And I think there's a couple other things that we got, but I'm gonna get uh, my partner to let me know what those are so I can tell you guys too. Um, but this very first ride on the sled, so it's super exciting. It's a beautiful day. It's only like minus five today. And we are just going for a little cruise through some of the trails close to town. Um, so I'm going to put in some of the footage as we're driving along and kind of take you guys with us.
there's the extra ski skins on the sled, make skis wider, float on deeper snow a little easier. The heavy duty bumper on the front protects from some bushes while you're driving through and also an extra grab handle. You need to pull the sled over and move it. The glove box and inside the glove box at the back there's a charging port for your phone so you can charge your phone while you're driving. And there's also a, a phone holder here while you're driving it keeps it warm and it's flipped up. You can view your phone to keep track of GPS while you're driving trails. The two-up seat has hand warmers and a plug for the passenger's uh, helmet to keep the visor heated so they can see while you're driving. And it has a boot heater too if you have heated boots. And it has a 90 liter tub, uh, so this is extra storage. And then this is also an extra. Uh, this is just a rail that goes around the back of the tunnel. You can remove this and then you can store other things in there and then the rail just helps you tie things down. All right, so that is all of the extras. Thank you very much, husband, for pointing all that out because I definitely didn't remember everything. So all of the footage that you guys just saw was from our very first ride with this sled. It is a new one. We um, snow checked it or put a deposit down on it in March of this year. And then just a week ago, they let us know that it was in and all the extras were installed and we were able to go pick it up. We have just enough snow right now to be out driving. Um, there's even a couple places where it's a little thin still. Um, so we're going to have to wait for a little bit more snow. Thankfully, it's snowing right now. Um, before we can really go on some of the longer trails um, and do some of the bigger uh, sledding trips. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you have a sled um, and you are a woman sledder, let me know boot recommendations. That's the only thing that I still need to upgrade. I have a brand new FXR suit, the matching jacket and pants. I think it's the team suit is what I have. And I have a balaclava and uh, my helmet and all that kind of stuff, but I still need to get better boots for sledding. So if you have any recommendations for warm boots, definitely let me know. Other than that, we will see you guys in the next video.